Today we're going to talk about how to solve linear equations if there are parentheses in them. So first review, let's review parentheses in general, how we, what kind of rules we have when we do this parentheses. A uh, simple example I'm going to give you is this, 4 times 5 minus 3, and 5 minus 3 I'm in parentheses. So the way you do this parentheses is first thing you have to do here is to do what's inside of the parentheses, namely to do 5 minus 3. That's going to be 2. And the next one you do multiplication 4 and times 2, you get 8. But there is another way of doing this calculation, and this uh, way is based on distributive rule. And what this rule tells us is what we need to do, we would like to open the parentheses. And the way we're going to open them is we take this 4 and multiply by this number, which is 5. So let's write it down. Do 4 times 5. Then we're going to apply, use this sign, which is minus. So we're putting minus here. And the last thing we do, we multiply 4 and that 3. And we're going to get 4 times 3. Again, it's 4 times 5, 20. Minus 4 times 3, 12. You get 8. So it works either way, except for you may be wondering now, why should we do it this way? Because this way seems to be longer. But the answer to this is the original way, it works fine if you have numbers like five and three in parentheses. But if instead, I'm going to ask you to do something like two times x, minus 5 and I want to do something with this and I don't know yet what x is. It's some unknown number. Well, the first technique doesn't work, but the second one still does. So using distributive rule, we're going to do take this 2 and multiply by x first. Then we're going to look at this sign and see what it is, minus or plus. In this case, minus. So we're going to put it here. Oopsie. Going to put minus. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to take this 2 and multiply it by 5. And we get 2 times 5. So my result is 2x minus 10. All right. So, and now let's use our new knowledge to deal with uh, some equations. So let's look at the following equation. Four times X minus two uh, equals three times x plus two uh, plus one. All right. How are we going to deal with this equation? How can we find x that will satisfy this equation? Well, we need to open the parentheses and we're going to use distributive rule to do that. So what am I going to do? On the left hand side, I multiply 4 by x and by 2. And please don't forget that there's minus here. So what I'm having is 4x minus 4 times 2, which is 8. That's what I have on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I'm going to have 3 times x. Then I'm going to have plus, 
And then I'm gonna have three times two. So we get three X plus three times two, which is six plus one. And now, uh, well, let's first uh, simplify it a little bit before we start multiplying equation by some numbers. Uh, what we see here is six plus one, this is seven. So let's just do that first. We get four X minus eight equals three X plus seven. The next thing we need to do is to bring all X's on one side, all numbers on the other side. So let's start with X's. We have four X's on the right, three X's on the left, or actually the other way around, four X's on the left, three X's on the right. So let's bring everything to the right, no, sorry, to the left. I'm being confused today. Um, so how do we do this? Well, we have three X's on the right. We want to get rid of it. So we want to subtract them. We subtract three X's here. Now we have to do the same on the left, right? Once we do this, we get four X minus three X minus eight equals three X minus three X plus seven. Now on the left, four X minus three X give us just one X minus eight equals three X minus three X is zero. So we have cell. So the next thing we do is uh, we wanna get rid of that minus eight sitting on the left, bring it to the right. And the way to do it is to get rid of this minus s, eight is to add eight, right? Plus, do plus eight. Now we have to do plus eight on both sides. We always do same thing on both sides. And what we're gonna get after this is x minus eight plus eight equals seven plus eight. So on the left, I'm gonna have X minus N plus minus eight plus eight gives me zero. So there's nothing to add. And on the right, I get seven plus eight. And that is 15. So, and that's how we find X. All right. So, um, in the next video, we continue dealing with the parentheses, but we're gonna look at some other examples which uh, may be a little bit more complicated. See you then.